Hi. <laughs> oh, what a banger. What an absolute banger. I'm on this weird kick where I keep looking up, like, middle school. Well, they're like high school brass band renditions of songs, which aren't, like, copywritten because, like, they're someone else's song to begin with, so they're not going to yell at me for using it, which is really nice. I really appreciate it. And honestly, some of them just slap. Like, the, uh... <laughs> I did that part in the flames. I did not expect to be as good as it was. Like, it started slow, but it got good. Oh, so I'm a big fan. Nope, not that. Um, yeah, so today we're playing more um, Ocarina of Time. In case you missed out last time, we basically completed the first temple, first dungeon, which is inside of the Deku Tree. Then we went to talk to Miss Zelda. Who told us that Ganon's coming to murder us all, yada, yada, yada. And we need to stop him by getting the three rocks, shiny rocks, to stop him. A red one, a green one, and a blue one. We have green one. We need red one and blue one. Uh, so we went to, we collected some chickens. And we went, we went to, like, Rock City. And we learned some songs. And now we're in our next dungeon, which is... Where are we at? Uh, the Dunjo's Tavern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where we're at. Um, also, you'll notice that Link moves and looks a lot better. Well, I mean, I, I would say that graphically, this is not a big improvement. I think the 3DS version looks better. But 60 frames is 60 frames. I mean, it looks great. I like the, the frame rate a lot. Also, you can notice that it spans the entire length of my monitor instead of just being a simple, um, you know, two things. Uh, I'm just gonna run to this middle thing. Does, is it gonna go in the ground? So, my experience with the first dungeon gave me a little bit of a concern. Because we're playing the Master Quest version of the game, which was released for GameCube. Um, I don't know how this works. It's supposed to be like the hard mode version of the game. And I noticed that immediately because the first dungeon was actually tough. Like here you notice that I have to bring this bomb a lot of places. And there's not a ton of time. All right, that's not really helpful. So I think I have to use that bomb on every single one of these. Oh, come here. All right, well, these guys are nice. So it looks like these guys are probably here. What the hell? If I had to guess, it's probably... Oh. Come on. It's probably because... Why can't I not reflect back? There we go. You sell Deku seeds. All right. He's got her here just to sell me more items. So technically speaking, if my shield gets caught on fire, I will not have a shield anymore. It is obviously burned. Um, so we're going to try to avoid that. Do I have time here? I'm going to say... No. Um, so we lose our shield. We're going to have to buy another one. We have the Hyrule shield, but like Link becomes a turtle when he uses it. So I don't really like using that. All right, don't fall in lava. Good point, Navi. You know, I knew I kept you around for a reason. All right, let's go, Link. Go. Yeah, so the Master Quest version basically changes the layout of most of the dungeons. All of the dungeons. How did that not work? All right. So basically, they just become harder than they were initially. And, like, the opening one was difficult. Not necessarily the combat. Like, yeah, I died a lot. I wouldn't say a lot. I died a more than I should have. Um, but, like... Where the hell am I? Alright. But, like, it took me, like, an hour to get through that. So, I'm not expecting this one to be any easier. We have a chest up here. Uh, let's see here. It looks like you can get to it from the other side. That's probably the way we have to get to it. I'm gonna try to open some of these doors i mean not a lot going on we could just throw bombs down this pit there's these rocks over here that we could not blow up all right can i pick this up nope goron braces aren't that strong 
Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna blow up this other door. This one's not open. Yeah. I'm gonna blow up that thing right there, and then I guess that one over there. Is that even possible to bring a bomb to? Wait a second. There's one up. There's one out here. So we could go out and grab this thing. Like so, and then run. As fast as our little legs will take us. That's not gonna work. Run! I told him to run. Yeah, we don't anywhere near enough time. Okay. So it looks like we have no way of getting a bomb there. So, yeah. We'll just go blow up that one door over there and then hope that it leads us to where we want to go. I don't have a map. I don't have a... Navi's not being the best guide. Alright, let's go, Link. There's time, there's time, there's time. You know what? Screw it. Just wait. Be a good noodle. We'll let it come back and we'll go again. Whew. All right. I really hope there's something in that door. Otherwise, we're in a bad spot. Also, I can't find a way to get any Skulltolas. Like, at all. Like, they're all too high for me. Gosh darn it. The one with the angle jump. That was a mistake. All right. Again, again, again. This is not, should not be the difficult part of the dungeon, if I'm being honest. I hate that there's like a timer associated with it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go now. Thank you. All right. And this is a chest, which is probably like rupees. A map! All right, I like the map. I'm a pretty big fan of the map. Call me old-fashioned, but I do like maps. All right, so if that does that... All right, let's blow these rocks up and see if they have, like, a switch in there. Because I need to light... This door needs to open. I think by default it's like just open <laughs> in the normal game. I do not remember any, basically anything with these like yellowy switches generally means like they made the dungeon more difficult. All right, and we roll away because we're cool. And there's our switch. Oh, it's not. That's not the way you go. Okay. Now hopefully that still moves up and down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> If we did move up and down, we'd be in a bad spot. Yup. Yup. Come on, Link. Nope. Okay, we're waiting for the next cycle. Wow, it sure goes up there, don't it? What is that? Is that a rope? Oh, okay. Now, I don't remember the... I played the original game like three or four years ago. I actually don't... I guess it was like four years ago and i don't remember the fire temple being that difficult i remember the water temple being an absolute gem <laughs> meaning i did not like it um okay yump yump i just switch here and i'm not sure what it does it opens the door below me okay very nicely done. Great angle for Link's buttocks. Uh, let's see. If I had to guess, these holes are really well positioned over his eyeballs, so he probably going to drop a bomb in there. So we probably are looking for a bomb bag in this temple. That should probably be, like, the main item we get. I mean, we'll look at this. Giant dead Dodongo. When it sees red, a new way to go will be open. I feel like I had a stroke when I spoke. All right. Alright. Do the other ones not go up anymore? Oh, okay. I guess the other ones... Oh, they do move. Okay, I was just very lazy. Alright, up we go, Link. <clears throat> now, this is just a bunch of bombs. I can get behind. You are a friend? I'm gonna equip the, um... This shield... Because I feel like... 
Okay. No, stop targeting. Dang it! Okay. The shield was correct, but, you know, I'm stupid. So I got that going for me. Hey, we're making progress. Slowly but surely. Not even slowly, just surely. We're just making progress. Alright, we can make this jump. Also, this thing is, that next to me is like for time. Alright, let's see here. There's a ton of bombs here. Just gonna roll into this. Money's nice. Alright, can you see me from here? Alright, just gonna pick up a bomb. Just curious, just doing a little, uh, testy westy. Okay, bombs do explode him. Then his eyeball explodes? Alright, of course. So it looks like we can just chuck these bombs nearby him. And that should solve that problem. Yep, and don't touch that. Wow, silver rupee. Oh, and the game didn't give me like a big cutscene explanation about what a silver rupee is. Alright. Um, cool. So this seems pretty straightforward. Bomb that. And for good measure, we'll put another one there. Nice. And we have... Alright, this thing gives us a stick. Which generally signifies that we will need a stick. Now, what is in this room? Okay, there's a staircase right there. I'm gonna keep getting sticks. I'm trying to think. They give us sticks because you probably need to light something on fire. Do I need to light all of these bombs? I mean, we'll give it a go. Whoops. All right. All right, so I'm gonna try that one more time. I cannot, I gotta hit him with a stick. That's why they have this guy here, is to give me free stickies. All right, so it looks like we just need to light the left side. Okay. We just need to light that, and that should do it. If the timing is correct. Huh. I don't know, that felt pretty good. If that's not the answer, I don't know what it is. It's got to be something different then. Right? Because I can't light these simultaneously. Okay, yeah. Don't play. We don't need that. Alright, let's go through the door. Again, this thing keeps giving me sticks. Which makes me think... Okay, so this is just blocked off entirely. <laughs> okay, so I clearly can't go this way. I think it's gotta be some of these bombs. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got it, I got it, I got it. Watch this. We can light this one. We pick the bomb up. And we can throw the bomb... Perfect. That's how you do it. Yeah, I'm pretty smart. Smart, smart. Beautiful. Stairway to heaven. Maybe that's the brass song we played tomorrow. Alright, now these guys might shoot me. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm curious. Can I backflip up this? Ho! Damn, I'm cool. <laughs> Holy crap, what is this? I don't know what you are. Um, you probably just sell me stuff. Alright. Good to know. There's a guy up there that sells me things. What are all these silver things? Do I need to collect these? Are they like weird items? We have three of them? Come 
Come on, son. Alright. Well, Jump Slash is the most powerful thing we have. So that's good. Uh, this, I can climb up, I guess? I don't know if those are relevant or not. We're also going to just shoot the back of this guy. Perfect. Alright. Because I kind of want to collect... So, what are those? Are they just pure coinage? Why do they keep... If it's just money, I don't know how much, if it's giving me money or not. Because they're, like, really big. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Um... Okay. I can climb where? Nowhere. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Alright, give me a second here. We're gonna... You know, the answer normally is just genocide. So we're gonna try that out. So I'll try to, like, redirect this guy's thing. I don't know if that's humanly possible. Okay. I don't know. Alright, let's bomb the guys down here. Because I think one of them, specifically the one on this side, did give me a silver goodie. So we'll just make sure... I feel like there's some amount of collection that I need to do here. It was collecting. Okay, they are like seek. They're like uh, secrets in Super Mario um, 64. Okay, good to know. That door is now open. We can't go that way because those they have like a little blocking thing for them. So we're gonna go up here. All right. Nice. Didn't save me that much time. I also don't need to go up there. I don't even know how. I guess I can just shoot them with a crossbow slingshot. <laughs> Should I really need to, but I'm pretty low on ammo for that, so we're gonna save those. Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Mark. Now, these guys, I think, want to eat bombs. Maybe? Or do I hit them in their tails? Hit them in the tails. That's the answer. But there also is this lovely bomb up here. So I'm wondering... Blink. Blink. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Alright, let's hit them in their tails then. Alright. Yeah, they're not th they're not too bad. Ooh, okay. They got some moves on them. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There you go, and that should do that one. Nope. Okay, he wants a little bit more. There we go. And is genocide the answer? Genocide was the answer. Good to know. And a chesty westy? Bomb bag? A compass. Alright, that's fine. You know, when I was a kid, I hated these things because I literally never used any attribute of the compass or map, but like... It is so helpful to have both those things. All right, so now we're up here again. But... No, we're on the other side. Okay, okay, we're good. I was like, we don't have any way to drop bombs. So I assume there's gonna be a mini boss somewhere around here that will reward us with a... Bomb bag. Um, okay. Interesting. Just gonna bring this down here. Yep. Alright, now that was a fun thing I learned. If you slice before you burn your stick up, you get it back. So. Okay. I'm gonna light all three of these. I don't know what the relevance of that is, but it's something to do. Oh, Link. I wanna light all these. I feel like that will reward me. Everything that I've seen so far that I think I can do, I end up being able to do it. And the game... Alright, I guess that's just not happening. I don't know how I lit the first one. 
Maybe I'm too close? I was too close. Oh, no! Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can grab this thing. Okay, so what I think... Let me see here. Okay, there's two of them. Okay, so I do need to light them on fire. That is the answer. But... I can use a little bit of help. There's a timer related to it. Yeah, they're not gonna let me out of here until I do that. Oh, there's also one right here. All right. Where does this take me? This is a new room. All right, one second here. I'm gonna light these things on fire. If I'm here, can I then jump to this one? I don't know. We'll give it a shot here. They wouldn't make me, they wouldn't give me the ability to light these on fire if it didn't have a purpose. Alright. Come on, Link. Get it. Woo! Got it. Okay, so that was very relevant. Okay, there's a... And we didn't use our stick up. That was nice. Nicely done. I thought I was definitely screwed there. Um, but the door unlocked, which is great. Uh, so now we can leave through this way. Which seems to be the important thing. It's probably the route that I'm supposed to go. But um, before I do that, I'm going to go the other route and see where that leads me. Because I'm just kind of curious now. Well, actually, two things. Is this anything? No, it's nothing. Okay. Good to know. Oh, and apparently Link can jump and climb something? Yeah, he can. Whatever. We'll push it up. And we climb up here, and I'm just seeing what's this way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So now this is lit. But... Can I make that? We'll see. I don't know. He's got it. All right, as long as we light this. Very well done, Link. Credit where credit's due. And then we have that one to light, which we can do just by doing this. Perfect. What is that noise? What is going on in this room? Who are you? Oh, the god, they're in the floor. Okay, now, what I'm looking at here is... Alright, let's kill what's ever on the ground and see if that solves issues. Alright, where my, where's my sand boy at? Sandy boy. Oh, sand boy. I saw him. Maybe he only comes out if I'm not on the ground. Maybe he's a little shy. I hear. We're, we Everyone saw that thing, right? Hmm. Interesting. All right, well. I don't have a bomb or anything to blow that up. I also definitely can't jump high enough to get there. I think I'm just hearing the spiders flip around over there. Or Skulltullas. So we'll go the other route. There also is a chest in here that I am a little bit perplexed on how to get to. I think there's a whole like higher level to this that we can get to later. So we opened this door up by, uh, you know, lighting some things on fire, which I thought was a pretty clever use of time. 
mini boss fight. All right, maybe we do this first. All right, so I'm gonna do my best. All right, so now while they're still in their little egg sacks, um, I know at least one of those hit. Okay, I'm not made of bullets here. All right, I guess there's no way to break them. Let's bring them all down then. And done. Nice, okay. It's a pretty small chest though. It could be a key. I'm gonna run into these boxes just to see. I don't know what it would pop. There's no way the thing holds a bomb bag. Oh, it's Skulltola. One I can actually get. Yeah, oh my god, dude. Alright. Well, I got a Skulltola. One of like a hundred. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought it would be in there. Okay. So that room was pointless, but required to get a Skulltola. Alright, so now... There's a chest in here, but I don't think it's feasible to get it. I mean, we got this guy. Jump slash is powerful. All right, so there he is. And then he goes down. So how far away do I need to be? What in the good lord is... Alright, we got it. Hmm, okay. So we still have this thing in the middle that I really can't break. I don't have anything that can move it. This doesn't feel like a song type thing. I mean, Zelda's Lullaby, Sarius Song, Sun Song, not really anything beneficial. Huh. Okay. Go back in here. We'll take a little look-see. I mean, this is a pretty cool idea to use the fire from that to burn that to get in here, but like... I... How do I get around that thing is a whole different... Oh, there's three of them down here. Oh, okay. Well, I'll try it. We'll kill all three then. Alright, maybe they're nervous, so we just sit here and we wait. I don't know. How do I get those little guys to come out? Also, is that really rel- I mean, what are they gonna do? Break this block? That's not gonna help anything. Hmm. Okay. I can't climb this, right? No. Okay. Worth a shot. What is a little Link to do? Sun song. Right down up. Right down up. I don't know if it's gonna change anything, right? I don't know. We'll make it daytime in here. Yeah, it didn't change a single thing. Alrighty. Unless I can, like, light it on fire? No. That's not the answer. I have a... Yeah, I don't have tools. This feels very, like, bomb it type thing. Alright. What about the chest in here? Let's 
Let's try going this way and see if there's anything this way that I can do. Again, not looking very plausible. Yeah, there's a whole upper level that I need to get up to. So we'll backtrack a little bit and see... Was there something this way that I missed out on? Or is there a way to gain... Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there a way to gain height? Mm, not really. Okay. Alright, so this seems to be the only way we can go. We also can drop down now. But... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is the entrance. Now I feel stupid. I thought this is the new door we haven't been able to access. I was wrong. Okay. Run it back. It's gotta be something in that room. I mean... There's no bombs that I can carry that way. This guy in the middle is obviously there so I can drop bombs to his eye sockets, which I don't have a bomb bag yet, so I don't have I don't have access to bombs whenever I want. You don't need to climb that. We can just go through uh, the top. I'm sure it was this way. This thing. All right, so clearly something in here. We have the Scully boys up there. Unless that's the design of the level is to to do something with these guys. I don't think they turn around. Huh. Yeah, because this is... No, there is an exit. No, 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 there isn't. Okay, this is just a one-room thing. How do I make Skulltullas turn around? Um... Yeah, those guys are just... Wait, 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 wait. These are pictures of what? The sun? Hold on. What is this a picture of? It looks like a sun. I don't know. I thought that was going to do it. Um, We'll just try the other song out. Zelda's Lullaby. Left up right Did that change anything no one's here Zelda song that's fine maybe I can show him the freaking letter maybe that'll let it open um can I bomb it do I hold a bomb through a door nope all right, well, hopefully that's not relevant. That is so cool that I can do that. Um, all right, I'm going to kill this guy for blood sport. All right, what do you give me? A shield. Okay. Good to know. Huh. Alright, drop down. Turn around. <laughs> yeah, we take each other out. But hey, look at these hearts. Alright. So we're back in this room. Which had a bunch of Dodongos in it. Or little green dudes. We murdered those and opened the door. Which let us go across. And there's not really anything I can do from here other than drop down, which we've already done everything down that we can do. Then we have this room. 
which I have a source of fire, which I use to light some stuff. I mean, I can't, st I have things I can position to climb around with, but I don't think, I can't like put them on top of each other. So not, wait a second. I don't know. I need to get height. That's what I'm trying to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, this seems to be the only thing that I can reasonably do is go this way. And I mean, they gave me this. Which is cool. I like having that. There's not really a way up. Like, there's that chest, and I can get to it if I had more height, but I don't have more height. So I lit this on fire to open this. I'm now under the impression that I need to kill all these guys. So I'm going to enter the room again, and I'm just going to go down as fast as possible. Whoa, 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 let me move this brick. Is it blocking, like, a cool side entrance? Oh, also, wait. If I have a... Does that give me enough height to get up? Those look pretty equally height. Do I just slide this thing across? Is that really the answer? Because I'm okay with it if it is the answer. Okay. This looks like it will work. Yep, alright. I overthought it. Like, I'll be honest. I overthought it a little bit. For some reason, I really wanted to murder those things. Okay. Okay. Turn around. Get the bat. Alright. Cool, and then we have... Oh, okay. I kind of see it. Alright, so we have to use a stick, which we have a lot of. Put the stick away. Throw the bomb. Nice. Alright, and we're moving on. Into a small boss room, which has... Right. Apparently they are immune to my bolts. Alright, come here. Alright, so they're hopping away. Let's see here. So they come at me or do I have to come at them? All right, I'm making good use of my shield. There we go, one done. All right. Easy claps. Woo! Man, that was good. All right, which door? Oh, I have the compass now. I can see which door I came in. Which was the other door. This is the correct way. Well, that's on fire. Um, cool. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say I can hit whatever that is to turn the fire off. And then probably another one. Um, all right. Well, this is weird. No, my shield! God! I don't know why I thought that wouldn't burn me. I thought I could, like, loop around the side of it, which would be cool. But I guess that was not the answer. Okay. 
So, our shield is gone, which sucks. And this is now relit. Okay. Now, one of these we open by targeting this thing. Which is a pretty cool shot. Actually, if I break that box, it's going to make my life a little bit easier. And then, if I had to guess, there's something behind that rock that I need to break. But I don't have a bomb, so I mean, that's going to be tough. So I think what I'm going to do instead is... It looks like I can hang around the edges of these. At least slightly. There's also a bomb in here, right? And it's like, why? I physically can't reach it. Alright. Uh, I was trying to grab the edge. Um, hmm. Up high? Whee! That was close. Okay. What happens if I hit the switch twice? Just curious at this point. So I hit it once. And now I want to hit it twice. Alright. Twice is nothing. Oh, I can pick this up. Okay, well that's a bomb. Oh, we can blow up this other rock. Okay. Perfect. Sick. Alright, easy peasy. I didn't think I could make that jump, to be honest with you. I just kind of assumed it was way outside my the realm of possibility. Just like hitting those things. Oh, it's a switch? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Is that forever and always? I feel like that's a timer. Oh, <laughs> uh, just go. Just run. Alright, we made it. <laughs> Woo! Yep, that was definitely on a timer. I heard it click as soon as we left the room. Alright, so we're up here now. So I have the ability to grab whatever's in this chest, which I would assume is probably more money. Yeah. More money. Um, let's see here. Looks like this is the route. Alright, so this opens up. This just brings us back to the beginning. Wait. How far away is this? You've got to be kidding me. This cannot be the answer, right? Nope, there's not enough time. There's not enough time to bring that bomb all the way there. Okay. Good to know. So now we have a bomb. Alright, what is the other thing that I could get to? Hmm. Let's look at our map. What's on it? Where have we not been? Seems like the first floor is the area we haven't been, which is behind... Oh, wait, wait, I got it. There was one other door we couldn't open because, um... Where the hell am I? I was blocked. It's this one to our left, right? I'm gonna say yes. So what I'm gonna do here... Yeah, I think we just gotta fall down. Yeah, it's like right over here. That door right there. We're gonna take the fall damage. And then blow that up. And hopefully this unlocks a bigger part of the dungeon. Oh yeah, this seems important. <laughs> uh, these things do what now? Apparently it rises me up here, which gets me a bomb. I'm gonna assume I need the bomb. To blow up like that door. Yeah, and that opens this up. All right, so we have that door unlocked. I'm not gonna go through it yet. Okay, now we have fire keys, which are not, what the hell? Come on, turn around. 
Now, I have a fire keys that's kind of following me. Or fire bird. And I'm curious if I can light my stick off of it. Because <laughs> that'd be pretty freaking sweet. And I, I don't know if that's built into the game or not, but I would love to see it. Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see me. You see me. Okay, now he's no longer firing. All right. Uh, so we have all of these things. Let me. Oh, I, I see. I see the system. I overthought it again. Still think it was pretty cool that it, you know, that'd be a pretty cool idea if the fire keys would light my stick on fire and then it, like, lights all those bombs on fire on the wall. But this works too. <sighs> Alright, please grow. I haven't actually watched one of these grow yet. They always say, like, a watched bomb seed never flourishes. All right, nice. So now all I'm gonna do here is, well, not drop it. All right, so I gotta throw it up there, then keep it moving. Actually, I probably can hit it in one shot if I know what I'm doing. There we go. And that should drop the ceiling stuff down. Oh, give me an eyeball to shoot at, okay. Well, let me go through this door then. That seems like the more complicated thing to do. So let's go in here and make sure there's nothing. Okay. Alright, do you sell a shield? Because I will buy one now. A red potion? No. I'm only in the market for shields. <laughs> I mean, a red potion would be nice. But, I mean, like, we, we'll get by without it. It's fine. Alright, I'm hoping that this spider will drop a, um... Some hearts for me. Sometimes they do. Yeah. Dang it. Maybe this will drop a heart? Nope. Just disappointment. That's okay. Alright, nuts are good. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I have to shoot this thing. I was like, wait. What do we do? Nice. Alright. So I assume there's a boss fight coming up, because that's why they offered me a red potion. Dang. Also, they blow up. And they don't drop any hearts. <laughs> okay. This feels... All right, these guys again. Now, I don't have my good shield. No, no, Link, get up, get up, my boy. Get up, my boy. Okay. All right. This is a cool, like, cinematic. No, 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 he did the, he did the thing again. Okay, that's fine. All right, one down. I'm not exactly, well, actually, one second. Did he drop any hearts? Nope, okay, that's fine. Get the buddy. Nice. All right, he dropped one green rupee. Not exactly what I needed, if I'm being 100% honest with you. I just hear that beeping. All right. All right, I would like to find a heart in here. I mean, there's got to be one in here. Is that a ghost? What is that thing? It is a ghost. Alright, I, I need to stop the beeping. That's all I want. Alright, well this will also stop it if I just die. 
Um, so, you know, that that's always an option. Oh, thank God. And now I never want to take damage ever again because it's so awful. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Little bit of breathing room. Alright, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say I just need to hit all the ghosts to death. So we'll just do that. There's also bombs in here. So there's more things to light, I think. I'm gonna murder the ghosts. I don't know why. Seems like a good idea. Okay, guy's still alive. How many hits do these guys take? Well, that one looks dead. Good. That one also looks dead. That's also good. Now there's one more. He's still alive, but he's on the ropes. He's on the ropes. Alright, little Popo. Come here. Come on. Alright. He's still alive. One more hit should do it. I don't know how we're targeting him. He's invisible. I mean, I guess Link is the hero of time, so I mean, he's got that going for him. If you the Poe of the Ghost, do you want to catch it in a bottle? Sure. Got it. Um, I guess we'll blow up this other thing that's sitting here. I guess the ghosts weren't really relevant to the rest of the game. But, you know, we got one in a bottle now. So, I mean, there's that. Nice. Alright, and this is the exit. So we will go through here. And we find... Oh, the thing in the beginning! Bomb bag. Thank you. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, let's go make sure we set that immediately. Bomb bag. Probably don't need the... What the hell does that mean? I just have bombs? How do I set it? Oh, they're right there. Okay. Whew. Got a little scared there. I was like, wait, I can't set the bomb bag. Hey, Alex, how are you? We're back to basics. We're back to Zelda. It now looks really pretty, and I haven't played in a while. I'm doing swell. Honestly, this is like nostalgia, and it really just tickles me pretty. Big fan. Um, Is this where I wanted to go? Your hair looks good? I mean, yes, yeah, sometimes I cut it. Sometimes I don't. In this case, I made it shorter. It will get longer over time. <laughs> Because I think it's ridiculous how much I have to pay to get my hair cut. And, like, I'm too... Ah! I definitely can't do it myself. So I still have to pay for it. Um... Oh, we already went the other way. Okay, so this is the only way to go. So, yeah. Uh, also, every time I visit my parents, they're like, you can't have that hair in our house. You either have to buy a hotel or, or you're gonna have to cut it. So, I don't mind doing it. But it's, like, ridiculous. I had to go there twice. So the first time I went... I went at, like, 10 o'clock on a Tuesday. And I was like, this should be easy. I took... The, I was off work, and I was like, it's 10 a.m. Who else is available 10 a.m.? There's, like, no chance there's people getting their hair cut. Hour and a half wait to get my hairs cut. Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. At 10 a.m. on, like, a Tuesday? So I had to come back the next day. I waited... I was like, I'm just gonna wait till it opens. And then, so I, it opened at like 9 a.m. So I was like, I'm just gonna get there at 9 and I'll be the first one there. I wasn't even the first one there. I got there at 9 a.m. Still had to wait 30 minutes. I was like, how is, like, who would have thought the haircutting business was this, like, profitable? I guess it's like plumbing. You know, people still gotta poop and pee. There's always a job available. People's hair gonna get longer. You're always, someone's gonna need to cut it. It's how you stay gainfully employed. <laughs> Didn't know I had a rant about haircutting today, but apparently I did. Nice. One bomb done. And then, of course, the second bomb. Pick it up. Pick it up. Damn it, Link. Oh, my God. Oh. That should do it. 
I guess I could have dropped it, but that was more, that was fun. Yeah. Into the heart of darkness. Dropping is boring, I agree. I just got this bomb bag and I'm gonna use every ounce of it. I, I can already pick up bombs and like move them. Like I wanna throw these things. All right, is this a boss fight? This feels boss fight-esque. I'm going to assume this is a, a room where I murder everything. Now there's a hole in the ground, but I'm kind of avoiding it because I don't think I want to go down there yet. Let's say hi until we don't have to anymore. What the hell is that thing? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Is this where the spiders are? Where, where am I? Alright, so I need more ammo. What the hell? Is that a grave? Ha! Ah! Lizard people! Yeah, there's nowhere for this guy to run. Alright. Thank you for dropping a heart. I guess we're gonna move... These graves? No particular reason? It it feels weird that they're in here, just sitting around. I would bet if you move all three, this fire goes away. Nope, that wasn't the answer. Do I have to read them? Wait, is it like a ramp? No shot. Is that really the answer? Oh my god, okay. Damn, game. Crazy. What the hell is all of this? I don't remember, like, any of this. Um, okay. Hi, guys. Get me out of here. What is this? Nothing a few bombs can't take care of. Bombs seem to work pretty well on these guys. And they drop bombs. Okay. Whew. That was weird. <laughs> okay. Now what are you guys hiding back here that's so dang important? Break all the pots. Um, this is just a route back to this room? I don't know. Oh, there's a switch. Okay, so the boss room is now open. Am I ready for the boss room? Well, there was another door back here. I need to check that out. Because we need to find some gold Skulltolas, because I'm, I need to get an upgraded wallet. For Shurzies. Uh, where does this door take me? You guys gotta calm down, bud. Alright, thank you. Okay. I gotta kill a Poe? Really? Alright. And we do the jump slash because it does the most damage. Dang it, I missed. That's fine. All right, just just make yourself visible for me. Oh, he's gone. Well, he's in the door. I hit him anyway. All right, let's move this grave while he's, we're waiting for him to reanimate. Oh, there's a chest right here. Wait, I wanted to kill him. All right, thanks for the blue rupee. Really full of wealth out here. Alright, so that should do that. Okay. Any tarantulas laying around? Nope. Alright. Alright. Well, I got... How many pose do I need? Is that relevant? Oh, wait. Alright, well, we gotta take care of these guys again, I guess. Throw it. Alright. 
seems to be working well enough. Nice. I'll be taking those. God, those guys are insane. <laughs> All right, let's take on the boss. Big the Dongo. Uh, I'm just gonna assume I need to hit the switch again. Nope, the switch is activated. All right, so the boss room is going to be here. There's also this huge hole in the ground that I really... Wait, it's not... Why does this exist? Well, I mean, I feel like I would need to drop a bomb in there. I mean, look at it. Nope, it just killed me. It just hurts. Okay. No problem. Why is that hole there? Oh, a chest. That's convenient. I got... I have bombs. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, just gonna guess we bomb the floor? Alright. Let's do this. Big Tadongo. I think I feed him bombs is the idea. But I could be wrong. Whew. He sure is big. King Dodongo. The infernal dinosaur. Damn, that should be my name. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal that. Whoa, it ricochets? Oh, this is not good. Go, Link, go, go, boy, go. Take the inside track. All right, so. There we go. That works. Oh, he's rolling. Can I get around him? Oh, I can. I can just dodge him. Okay. Yeah, you dumb dumb. I picked up a bomb a little early. No, I didn't. Perfectly timed. So I can't. Okay, so I can dodge literally everything just by standing really close to the lava. I feel like I didn't know that as a child. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. That's okay. Quarter heart is fine. All right. Yeah, keep on rolling, my big man. And then we do the jump slash because... That's okay. Whew, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. All right. And he takes a few steps. And then he gets a bomb. There we go. That was just easy. Like, that was not a hard fight at all. And there we go. Second dungeon is done. I will say the dungeon was a lot harder. It took, took me an hour again to complete. But the uh, the boss was not. That was very straightforward. And we got a big ol' heart. Just a huge heart. And we outcha. Oh, it's Big Brother. He's happy to see me. Darunia. All right, now you guys can eat a bunch of rocks. Oh, all right. Interesting. All right, so they also had weird in dealings with Mr. Ganondorf. All right, so now we're brothers with uh, Darunia. And he gives me his big red rock. Not a sexual innuendo. Literally giving me a red rock. So loud. Thank you, Darunia. 
All right. Next up, we got to talk to some Zoras. <laughs> Not a sexual dude. I know you summoned me. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. It's a ruby, not a rock. I don't even know if it's edible. You don't know what it means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two stones. All right, two of three. Great fairy on top of Death Mountain. Oh, yeah, we have bombs now. I wish I could just jump off cliffs and just survive. That seems like a really good ability to have. How about a big gore on hug? <laughs> Link, accept it. Accept the love. Accept it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so... Oh, I still take damage. Alright. Alright, so the Great Fairy Cliff... Oh, it's not this way. It is... It is this way. Yep. So it's previously blocked by big rocks, but now we have bombs, so we just blow those rocks up. It's also, like, one of the first times in the game where it's like, just go here. There's not a whole bunch of, like, weird logic that I have to apply. It's like, go see the fairy on top of Death Mountain. It's like, say less. I'm in. This away. Um, alright. And then we just have to blow everything up. Drop it. This next one we gotta time a little bit better. These things blow up fast. Why didn't you do the leap, Link? There we go. Alright. And I think that's it. I don't need to blow anything else up. I mean, this one's just for funsies, though. Oh! <gasps> It was not just for funsies. There's a cow in here. Hi, cow. Um, you want a ghost? Did I eat the ghost? Wait, a ghost gives me things? Hmm. What do I do with a cow? <laughs> I did not really think I would have to deal with this. Maybe the cow just exists down here. I was trying to milk it with a bottle that apparently was not the answer. Where am I? Okay. So if I remember correctly, this launches stones at me. But I have my big boy shield. So I should be able to block anything that's gonna fall on me. I don't know. Come on, Link. God, these rocks are so accurate. Oh, good God. All right, well, we made it here. Which is nice. Can you drop a heart? Nope, you dropped a Deku nut, which is not exactly what I need. I hate that beeping so much. Please stop. Maybe this one will drop what I want, which is the life sustenance. Nope, a green rupee. That's fine. Alright, and to be completely fair, I probably don't need to kill this guy. And I won't, because um, it's a little bit obnoxious. We can go right past him. Wait! Oh god, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Come on, Linky Poo. Well, that will do it. <laughs> I should just kill the spider. I wanted to go fast. Oh, hopefully it spawns us. Yeah, we're right here. You think those rocks are still there? The rocks are not still there. Good to know. Um, hopefully, I'm going to try to drop back into the cow pit. Because there was lovely little hearts in there. Oh, come on. There we go. I just want to see what's behind this rock. Money. Okay. This game gives you so much money, and there's just no real way to have a wallet by now. Like, I'm, I don't even know what you can spend money on. 
I guess I do need to buy a new shield, in fairness. <laughs> All right, let's drop in here and see if they can grab some hearts. Yeah, the cow's still here. Um, there also is this thing. Okay. I thought it would do something different. Now we don't have enough ammo to kill the spiders, so now we actually have to <laughs> move past them nice and stealthily. Alright, now the fastest way to move is actually horizontally. So I'm curious if... Okay, that's not gonna do it. We'll just have to survive. God, these rocks are good at hitting me. God, and they come so frequently! Are they done? All right, we take like eight steps. And then more rocks. <laughs> so many rocks. I wonder what the speed way of doing that is. Like, cause there's no way there's a speed run that sits here and just waits. Well, we have one spider. We'll take this one out. Maybe he drops more ammo. Nope, he doesn't drop anything. All right, so there's no real reason to... We're just gonna move past him nice and stealthily. Whoop. There we go. Okay. We made it to the top. Oh, the owl's here. I'm gonna break this rock. Hoot hoot. I know, I made it all the way up here. All right, the Great Fairy lives in the mountaintop. She will give you a new skill. Nice. Uh, what is this thing? Okay. Wait, wait, did I bomb this? It looks, it looks like something that's bombable. Tis bombable. So what's in here? Oh, this is the Great Fairy. <laughs> all right. Bomb the uh, the lovely place that we're in. There's Zelda's lullaby. Because there's a Triforce on the ground. If you see a Triforce, you play Zelda's lullaby. Oh, I forgot about the fairies in this game. So many good polygons. Look at those polygons. A sword technique? <coughs> oh. Put some pants on, fairy woman. Wow, she's just spreading it all out there, isn't she? And they put that camera angle so forced. Can I spin attack now? Great. All right. We have magic? Why is there magic involved with a... Wait, 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 I'm sorry. What did you say? Can you repeat what you said? I don't know. Um, can you repeat that? All right, you know what, it's fine. Well, I think she said the Hyrule for a sword technique. I don't know if I need more sword techniques. Uh, yep, but you still don't really look like a hero to save Hyrule, at least not yet. I can lend you a wing, grab hold. All right. I don't even know what other sword techniques there are in this game. Like spin attack is the only one I can think of. Oh, this out really takes a wrap, like a loop around. Not really a direct path type of guy. And we're back in Kakariko. All right, so I think Next, we can just leave. Um, I'm not going to do any of the side quests in Kakariko. I think we go... We have to find a way into the water realm. If I had to guess, it's probably something that was blocked by rocks. And now that we have bombs, we can just blow up the rocks. Like, that's the new ability we have. So we just got to look around Hyrule Field to be like, where them rocks at, you know? 
Also, because this was over here, I'm gonna assume the other one's the other side. <laughs> Making a lot of assumptions. I mean, game design has come a long way, but um, core concepts are the core concepts. I mean, I guess we can look at the map. Yes. Is that, that's all I can see is, oh, okay. That's the whole map. Fair enough. I'm gonna go to Lawn Lawn, but I don't really want to go to Lawn Lawn. There's a grotto here if I had to guess. Might as well explore that. We only need like one more piece of heart to get a, uh, a full heart container. How is this not blowing up? I thought I put that first one perfectly. It is a grotto, okay. All right, now please don't be money. Got a fish. Don't know what I'm gonna do with the fish, but I got it. It's money. I don't need money. Money is worthless. Okay, but, you know, that's the best way to fish. Just catch it with a bottle. Saves so much time. Um, so I think that's Lon Lon up there. I don't know, what's all the way over here? I think Lon Lon will get me a Pona song. I don't know, I'm just kind of exploring. There's another grotto right here. Might as well check that out. Oh, it's a fairy fountain. All right, sorry, fish. Here you go. Live your best life. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta grab one of these guys. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit better for me in the long run. I would love to have more than one bottle. Um, okay. I'm gonna ignore whatever that is. I don't think I have the equipment to deal with that. You're not gonna need a bow and arrow. Um, let's see here. I'm not entirely sure where to go next. With bombs available, what does our map look like? Zora's domain is that way. Okay. But how go? Okay. Where am I currently pointed? It doesn't tell me, okay. So that's where we're trying to get Zora's Domain, because we need to get Link's little fish suit so he can breathe underwater. Also, just where, that's just where the blue stone is, which is the other thing we need to get. <laughs> okay, I guess we could talk to Malin. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Interesting. Listen. Oh! Okay. No! I always do that! <laughs> I'm gonna stop catching fairies, because literally all I do is use them immediately. I'm trying to remember Saria's song. It's the Lost Woods. Dun 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 dun. There it is. You want to talk, Saria? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. There's one more to find. The one of water. The Great Deku Tree once told me that King Zor, ruler of the Zor's Bane, has it. Okay, well that doesn't... Okay, well thanks. Well, I'm glad I talked to Saria. <laughs> it's nice that I confirmed what I already knew. I guess. Um, I think Zora's made on this side. Can I just walk up? Can I just go that way? I only have two bombs, so hopefully there's not blocked by more than two. 
Okay, this is probably the way. Follow the water. I mean, they're fish people. <laughs> Zora's River. All right. <laughs> Say less. I'm in. And it is, in fact, blocked by some lovely uh, rocks, which is great. All right. Who toot? Okay. I'll let him know. I'll play the song. Don't you worry, or I'll show him the letter. I have two ways of showing that I am a part of the royal family. Alrighty. What? That was so stupid. Now I have zero bombs. Okay, we don't touch the chicken. The chicken is not to be touched. Alright, I need either bombs or ammo. Let's take either one. Also, I'm gonna pick this chicken up. Perfect. Yeah, this seems like the way. Ooh. Bloopers. Uh, there's a piece of heart sitting right there. And I kind of want it. <laughs> and I don't understand what makes it difficult to get. That, probably. Okay. Interesting. Alright, take the chicken up. Oh, the chicken's gone. All right, well, I get, we gave the chicken a shot. Um, let's see here. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep going up. There's nothing that looks too complicated. It looks like you just kind of keep going up the river. And avoid getting shot. Which I can do. I can avoid not, I can avoid getting shot. Okay, now we got a Skulltola down there. Which I really want to get. There we go. Nice. I think I need like 20 of those or something to get my upgraded wallet. So anytime I see it, I'm going to try to grab one. But man, they are everywhere and also nowhere. And this would probably be where you play Zelda's Lullaby. And that should open the waterfall. And we're in, baby. Let's meet some fish people. I still think the coolest aura is the one from Majora's Mask, where he plays guitar. That's my favorite one. Oh, hi, fish person. Who are you? I know you're the Zoras. What do you want from us? I don't I don't really know yet. I guess a stone. Alright. Uh this is a waterfall. Okay. God, that water is so loud. Uh I'm gonna go this way. I know I need to swim later. I'm gonna need to get like Either, I think it's iron boots and uh, blue armor lets me like breathe underwater. But I think this is the shop, and you sell me blue armor. It's adult size. Okay, so I can't have it, which is fine. A fish is 200 rupees? Bro, I know how to catch it. I had a fish in a bottle. Why would I want to buy fish? Oh god, do I have to give a fish to someone? Am I- Did I accidentally do things correctly? Alright, where's the boss? Where's the head honcho of this place? Uh... Is there a door over here? Did I miss a door? <laughs> Hello. Lord Jabba Juby lives in the fountain? Is patron deity of the Zoras. Princess Rudo is in charge of preparing his meals morning and night. Okay. Okay, that's up, but we can go down. 
Okay, but we can go up. <laughs> and up. Okay. This will probably be Mr. Uh, whatever his name is. Princess Ruto. Oh, yeah. Look at this man. Now, that's a fish. Okay, where do I talk to him? Why won't he speak to me? Look at me, big fish man. Oh my, my dear sweet Princess Rudo. Where is she gone? Oh god. I'm on a fetch quest for his daughter, I guess. Alright, so I need to find the mystical fountain. I'm gonna try going this way. High dive practice? Alright. Hello. Diving game 20 rupees? Sure. All right. Oh no. Start. I mean, do I just dive like this? I don't know what it gives me, but I'm, ah, is that close enough? It is close enough, all right. Good. We almost made our money back. All right, we have 20 seconds to collect one rupee. Seems like we can do it. He's got something nice for me. All right. I hope it's good. Could be good. Or it could be nothing. I will be... If this man caught... If he made me pay 20 rupees just for him to throw 25 rupees down and have me collect them, if he gives me more money, I'm be... Like, what's the point of that? I'm looking for a piece of heart or better. I don't know where this fountain is either. Alright. It's a scale of our kind with you... Oh. I can now dive deeper. No. So how do I use that? Is that just always equipped? It's just always equipped. Alright. So now that I can do that, I think there's a door, like, right there. Can I just go through that? Is that... Mushnigana? Yeah, that works. Lake Hylia! Hell yeah! Is that a bottle? Wait, can I get that bottle? We got it! It's an empty bottle! It didn't look very empty, but we got it. Oh, so now we have two? A letter! All right, let's look over here and we can open the letter. Because I'm dying to know. I guess if you're a fish person, if you're just living in the water already, like, what's the point of a message in a bottle? <laughs> it's just leaving notes around. Okay, let's see what the letter has. I'm dying to know. Huh? It looks like there is something already... Yes, yeah, a letter. Help me. I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabba Juby's belly. Please don't tell my father. Okay, if I was a Lord Jabba Juby... Okay, well, this is a, clearly a... Zelda lullaby thing. Is it not? Then what's this platform for? Bruh. Okay, when water fills a lake, shoot for the morning light. Uh, oh, there's an owl over here. The owl will tell me where to go. Pretty sure we just keep moving. These guys can't hit me. All right, Mr. Owl, can you show me where Mr. Jabba Jubi Jubi is? I know, I'm doing great. You should look at the map subscreen sometimes. At the lake bottom, there is a water temple used to worship the water spirits, the Zora Guardians, Hoot Hoot. Uh, Zora's, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard that only the royal family of Hyrule can enter Zora's domain. Okay, well, I think we're here already. Wait, am I not? Is this not the way to get here? No, wait, where did you take me? I didn't mean to get picked up. Where are you taking me? 
Didn't we already go to Zora's Domain? Where are we going? <laughs> if we go back to Kakarik, we're... <laughs> oh, Lord. This is not where I wanted to be. Damn owl. I worked so hard to get over there. And now, I gotta walk all the way back. Actually, I think you can get there faster through Lost Woods. I think there's a route to get to Zora's Domain through Lost Woods. But we'll just walk the same route again. It's not that bad. I don't mind doing it. Okay. So we're looking for Mr. Jabba Juby. The Mr. Jabba. Not the hut. The Jabba Jabba. Alright. There's also this piece of heart here. Oh, let me grab these. We need ammo. Also a little concerned that nothing drops bombs. Um, I'm gonna pick the chicken up. Again, I feel like the chicken is important. What is this guy all about? Chomp, chomp, chomp. You want some magic beans? Ten for one piece? Uh-huh. Okay, so now we have magic beans. We have one magic bean. I'm gonna plant it. I don't know what that creates. We'll have to come back later, or do I have to water it? Don't tell me. Do I have to water it? Pick the water up, boy. Did I get it? Okay. Whatever. You know, I don't even want to water it. It's not worth it. I'm not here to garden. I'm here to slash pots. Alright, give me that chicken. Got it. Alright. Now let's glide, baby. Alright. Now there's a piece of heart over here. And it doesn't look that complicated. And I kind of want it. It looks like if I can get the chicken all the way across, I can get up there. So, like... Alright, we're here. Alright, let's go around the other way. I can't make that jump. It looks pretty much impossible. Which is fine. I'm cool with impossible. Okay. Don't drown the chicken. He's up there. Good. No, chicken. Chicken. Wait, where are you going? Alright, that's fine. How did you get up there? I can't get up there. Where is it going? Stop running. What the hell? Where is it going? What was that? What the hell? Ooh, what a jump. Oh, wait, we're in the same spot we were before. Okay. I thought that was a cool thing I did, but apparently it's just the intended route to get back. So, if I can get up there, I can get to here. What is this music? What is attacking me? I mean, I guess there's things in the ground, but, like, they don't seem very... concerned. Alright. Now, is there anything that I can use to get up higher? A ladder. There we go. Oh, I can't climb this? Oh, okay. So I need to get the chicken over there. And the chicken can glide me down. Okay. Got it. Figured it out. Let's get a piece of heart. We got all the pieces. Now we got to put them together. All right, Mr. Chicken. Chick, 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 chick. Chicken. All right. Zoop. All right. One jump. And now all we have to do is make sure the chicken doesn't... We don't lose the chicken on the way. 
Uh, let's see here. I can make this jump with Mr. Chicken. Barely. Alright, this one I can also make. I just gotta make sure that I can pick him up before he literally disappears. Alright, don't leave. Alright, we got him. Okay, this should be pretty easy. You just have to do this. Alright, now we're over here. Chicken, you can go be free. I can't carry you up this this ladder. Okay. I, I do not remember the chicken just... Oh, there's another chicken. Nice. Alright, there's a hole up there. But I'm way more in need of the, the piece of heart over here. Got it. Let's go. We got it. All right. Um, is it worth going to the grotto? I'm going to say no. I have not found anything of value in the grottos. And I doubt it's another piece of heart because we just had one. It's like, what's the likelihood of having another piece of heart here? Probably pretty low. All right. So let's go back to Zora's domain or Lake Hylia, I guess. Uh, and then I guess we'll look at the map to figure out where the fountain is. I'm still a little peeved at the, the big hoot hoot owl took me all the way away, away from there. Zora's River. Zora's Domain. Somewhere over there is a fountain where we can find Jabba Jubi. I think I'm mispronouncing his name, but you get the idea. Oh, this is how you get to, um... Yeah, okay. So I can't unlock that yet. I need water bombs. That's the thing I get from... Another piece of heart. Wait, oh, wait. Huh? I didn't just jump slash my way there. I... Hold on. I can try that a few times. Like, it's a pretty easy jump. I mean, I'm not... There's no way I'm bringing a chicken up here. Okay, what's the shortest distance? Probably corner to corner. I'll try it one more time. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay. Well, we gave it a shot. That or, like, maybe, like, just maybe you can place a bomb. I have to play the song again. Okay. Maybe I place a bomb and it blows me over there. But that can't be the... <laughs> that can't be intended. And I don't have a bomb, so... Come on. The problem is I'm using, like, this stick to do the notes, and it doesn't always guess the correct one. You gotta be pretty specific. Alright. Open for business. Zora's domain is here. And now we can... We did the game, so we can swim underwater. Is there anything else worth swimming underwater to? I think Lake Hylia is probably the best place to go. Like, that's the new area we haven't been. I'm gonna explore that house right there. Like, I think this is where the water temple is. There's a fishing game. I'm gonna go to the house first. Now, what is in this house? Who lives here? And do they sell bombs? Because I would love to have a few of those. Hey, there we go. You know, sometimes just ask and you'll receive. Lakeside Laboratory. Okay, let's see what the scientists are up to. Yeah, this guy looks professional as hell. Making medicine by mixing water with compounds. Okay, um, well, good luck with that. I wish you the best in your studies. All 
All right, so now we're at Lake Hylia. And this is a, looks like a road out. So we'll take this. Because I don't know where this leads. Let's see what the sign says. Hyrule Field? Wait, you can take Hyrule Field directly to here? Huh? Interesting. Okay, well that's a good little shortcut to have. Is it one way? They're spawning skeletons up here? Seems a little unfair. Beyond this point lays Lake Haley. It's full of deep water. Oh, I'm supposed to come from the other side. Okay. So I found... Where the hell... Is the fountain? I don't know. <laughs> I would bet it's in Zora's domain. Okay, well, apparently I can't get over there. God, I love doing that. Um, okay. Well, that was fun and exciting. Where is this fountain? So I'm now able to dive a little bit deeper than before, which gives me access to Lake Hylia through that. Lake Hylia we haven't been to before. I think we should keep exploring Lake Hylia because that just makes sense. That's the new region we just unlocked. The faster way of getting there I don't think exists if I can't jump over small little hurdles. Maybe with a Pona I could, but I'm very lazy. Although we are traveling quite a bit. Maybe a Pona might be a good thing to grab here. Let's go to the good old Lon Lon and see if Miss Malin would part with a horse or so. Because I do believe that's where we get a Pona from. Normally ranches have horses. And at this point I'm a little bit lazy and I'm tired of doing this very slow like maneuvering thing also like if we have horsey we can go into it should be able to leap over that fence and get us to lake higher yeah yeah there's a pono okay let's go make friends with the little girl in town her name is malin her father is talon and her ta and his dad's like a drunk who sleeps everywhere in town Oh, God. These horses look angry at me for some reason. Malin, uh, I want to talk to you about this horse you have here. Alright, this is a Pona. Hi, Pona. Can I ride you? I think it's too small to be ridden as a child. I think I have to be an adult. I need to have a Pona's song. Doesn't she have, like, a song? I don't know. I think we're here too early. A Pona's literally not big enough to ride yet. So I don't think that's the horse. It's time to get a horse. Uh, let's see here. We could go say hi to her dad, see if he's drunk and asleep again. He is drunk and asleep. Awake, what? Uh, Malin's back in a good mood. Had a little game. These three cuckoos I have are super cuckoos. I'm gonna throw these cuckoos into a gaggle. If you pick out those three birds among the normal ones, I'll give you something good. Okay. Let's find the cuckoos. That's one of them. There's another. There we go! I can't believe I did that, to be honest with you. <laughs> Alright, I am pretty good. Would you like to marry Malin? Sure. Oh, okay. Never mind. 
Lon Lon milk. Oh, we get another bottle. Oh, hell yeah. We got three bottles now. That's sick. I'm actually, that's worth it. Bottles are like gold in this game. Now we have three. That's pretty sick. All right. Now we are off. To, I don't know. I guess back to Zora Domain. I guess. And this time I'll bring a chicken along and we'll get that last piece of heart that's available up there. I don't know. We'll talk some more, folks. We'll show her dad the letter. We'll do some songs, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It'll be worth the trip. Bum, ba -na -na, bum, 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 ba -na -na. Yeah, she said Zora's domain. That's where we're going. Don't second guess me, Navi. Don't be flashing at me like I don't know where I'm going. I mean, I don't, but like, don't be flashing at me. Okay. So, let's see here. We now can dive slightly further. There's like, there's a well in Kakariko that's like deep. We could try swimming in that, but I feel like that's not the route we need to take. Uh, I'm gonna grab this chicken, and I'm gonna get that last piece of heart. I don't think this will be that bad. And honestly, like, I could use some hearts. I'm not going for all of them, but, like, if they're... These ones seem really obvious. And, like, the chicken just makes sense. Do I make this? Oh, yeah, easy peasy. All right. Gotta grab the chicken before it ascends. Alright. Got it. <laughs> grab the chicken before it ascends. Perfect. Alright, now we have the chicken, so the piece of heart should be easy. I think. So I don't think you need the ladder at all. Oh, there's wolves out now. Yeah, we just literally take the chicken up to here. Actually, I'm gonna go a little higher. I think height's gonna be our friend here. We're gonna do the high position here. Line it up, and then we float down and grab a piece of heart. Perfect. All right, now we get rid of that chicken. Go take off and ascend. There it goes. Oh, I missed it. No, he's running. Wait, where are you going? I want to watch it ascend. There it is. There it goes. <laughs> Off into the clouds. All right. We're back here. I wonder if a normal bomb would blow this up if I time it perfectly. Nope. I'll try it one more time. God, it needs to blow up, like, right before it hits the water. Come on. Well, that works, too. Alright, well, I give up. <laughs> uh... Zora's Domain for the third time. I can't imagine this goes poorly. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go talk to her dad. She said, oh. I think what you're supposed to do is it says, please don't tell my dad, but you say, I don't know you, Princess Rudo. I'm not gonna hold your secret for no reason. So I'm gonna tell your dad other anyway. So let me get the letter out. Yeah, it says I'm waiting, don't tell my dad. How do I? There we go, okay. 
All right. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle. Let's go. It's insane how much I love bottles. All right, we're good to go. Let's get out of Link. Let's go see the big Jabba Juby. All right, because I think once we get all three of these, we finish up with like Child Link and we go to Adult Link. Oh, there's the big Jabba Juby. I'd know him anywhere. Look how big he is. All right. Mr. Fishman, I have questions. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say we're gonna play a song. That didn't work. Uh, Mr. Fishy? Okay, let's see. What else could be... I mean, we'll try it. That was not the answer. What about shooting him in the eyeball? God, he's impervious. Alright, what other songs do I know? We can try the Saria Shuffle. Down, right, left. Yeah, D do you have a... Okay. No. So that's the fish who won't let me in. I mean... Alright, let's see here. Does he want to, like, see the letter from Zelda? Do not disturb Lord Jabu Jabu. You don't tell me what to do. Um, uh, okay. Um, uh, hmm. Maybe I can climb in? Nope, okay. Stop, Link. We know we can't do it. All right. We can't get to the bottom of this. Can I climb up his backside? Even if I can, I kind of want to try. Oh, come on, Link. Oh, there's a cave right here. Okay, well, what's in the cave? I don't know if this texture is climbable. This does not look like a climbable thing. Yeah, I can't get up this. Okay. How to open Jabu Jabu mouth, you know? Okay, maybe it's like the other guy where I'd be even closer to his mouth than I initially thought. So like, I get really close. Oh no, he wants a fish. That's, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta catch him a fish. That's what I'll do. Okay. The one in the shop costs 200 rupees. Little out of my price range. But, the game has now gifted me a bottle. It knows I have one. And it knows that the Jabu Jabu wants to eat something. So let's go get a fish. And see if that solves my issue. Um, how to catch fish? If it was up to me, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this seems perfect. Come here, fishies. Got it. All right. We got a fish. We got the sound effect. Now let's go feed the big fish a little fish. Because I was like, how do you get something to open its mouth? And it's like, why would I open my mouth? It's like, oh, you put food in front of me. So let's put food in front of the big fish and have him let me in. I really hope this works. This feels like it would. Everything kind of lines up for this. They gave me a bottle. There's fish swimming around in the Zora's domain. Like, let's try it. I'm gonna get right up next to his big mug, and I'm gonna make a fish appear. 
Please work. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Go in there, Link. There we go. Oh, this looks nice. There's a cow in here. <laughs> wow, it's spacious. Okay. The bubbles hurt? Well, that's good to know. Okay. I'm so sorry, cows, that you're being treated this way. I can't save you. Okay, so I can pop bubbles. But, like... Oh, wait, wait, let's bomb this thing. I'm not gonna put it in the water. What the hell is this? It's a switch? Okay. Yeah, sure, that's how... And there's the map. All right, cool. <laughs> That's really unsettling. Uh, it looks like a big pimple inside the, the man's mouth. How do I open this? Uh, not exactly sure. Uh, something strange has covered the entrance. You must solve the puzzle in this room to make the entrance open. The puzzle in this room is probably genocide. Is that the answer? You gave me bombs. What's the puzzle? Don't make me, I'm not attacking the cows. Is that the answer? What? What the hell? All right, well, let's shoot the other cow then. <laughs> Why is that the answer? What the hell is that? <laughs> that is insane. This is gonna go really well. Is this an enemy? It is, and it shocks me. All right, uh, so now we have another puzzle in this room. Is it just shoot the cow? What in God's name? Why did they, where did that chest drop? Um, uh, I mean, we can shoot the jellyfish, I guess. Okay, so those things are electrified, that's fine. Sure, we'll just take a little trip down here. I do not remember this at all. <laughs> Why do the cows give me Deku nuts? Okay. Another cow down there. Is it trying to like guide me? There's a little bit of a, like a, a rupee trail. Yeah, all right. Hell yeah. Cool. These cows are very unsettling. That one is drowning. That is a dead cow. How is it alive? Ah! A, what is that, a stingray? Game got stingrays? All right. I don't think I can do anything underwater, right? Like, that's just kind of all I got. All right, well, that's the puzzle. Oh my god. This is not the right way. This is the right way. Okay. I'm tired of everything shocking me. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, is the floor going to implode? <gasps> Princess Rudo! I found you! What are you doing in here?
All right, well, I'll just leave then. You seem to have this whole thing under control, and yeah. <laughs> I s How did you not see that? It's like very obvious quicksand. I'm just gonna blow up the rocks. Um, let's see here. So that thing shocks me. Just curiously. Alright, I have no real way of using anything on that. Alright, can I go in the hole? I can, okay. The hole is the answer. Um, can I climb this? No. I don't know. Um, let's see here. I have... Okay, I literally can't stop those, so I'm not going to. Then we go over here. Oh, it's... Oh, it fills water. Oh. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, so we just need to ride that up. That's all we need to do. Oh, the Deku Seeds probably do something. They've been giving me so many of them. They probably will stop, I don't know, something. All right. Nice. And we can leave now. What? Can I throw Princess Rudo onto it? Uh, let's shoot cows, I guess. They keep dropping Deku nuts. A lot of, lot of chests being dropped by cows. Um, how do these work? Okay, so... Bad. Got it. Alright, now if I had to guess, let's try out our new idea. Let's try using the Deku nuts to stun whatever the things are. So, like, this thing right here. Nope, that's not how that works. Okay. Sweet. Um, okay, what are the cows giving me? Bomb chew? It crawls up walls. Okay, sure. So, with that in mind, where's the other chest over here? What does this give me? I didn't realize this cow would give me these nice things. More Deku nuts. Okay. Hmm. So now with bomb shoes, just for curiosity's sake, do these allow me to... So those things are impenetrable to my bombs, but I did get a bomb shoes down here, so maybe I can use them upstairs to do something. I don't know. So they also can crawl on the roof, so we have like verticality to our bombs now. What the hell is that thing? Okay. So we went downstairs, we got bomb shoes. Nice. Ah, yes, of course, the cow. <sighs> Perfect, okay. All right, so we gotta go down and come up, good. Moving along. Oh no, this is the room we just in. Wait, this door's already open. Okay, so it's the one across. That door, well no, we can't get. <laughs> I'm so confused, all right. Um. Maybe using bomb shoes in some of these rooms would be good. I don't know. Over here. 
a switch downstairs. Nothing impressive. I can't think of anything that I... It'd be things on walls. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. Oh god. Do I just live like this? Link, just get out of here. Just get out. Okay. Um, okay. So, like... I'm very confused. Okay, we're back in his mouth. Nothing too intense here. You keep giving me Deku Nuts like it's something I can use, but it's not. It's like a random... It stuns enemies. But at what cost? I don't have a good method of destroying these stupid wiggly boys. Hmm. We got bomb shoes. Which allowed me to do what? Wait a second. Is there more of a cow? Wait, wait, what does this cow do? Okay, so that cow's there. Is this cow also behind, like, rocks, but I can't see it? No, there's no... Okay. So those things do die. Can I also just shoot it with a... No. Oh, okay, so that's how you get rid of those guys. That's the deck seeds are good for. Yeah, that's gonna be stupid. Alright, let's go back down here, I guess. Oh, wait, wait. Alright, let's find a way to fall down where she fell down. Yeah, okay. Sounds good to me. And then I can ask her to stand on that switch for me. Really, like, pretty please. I just don't know. Alright, so she should be, like... She fell into this one. Perfect. Whew. Yeah, Electro Jellyfish and Strain holes around top of that. My precious stone was stolen. Go home now. Okay, perfect. She'll let me carry her. That is perfect. So now... I can use this to lift me up. I can jump over here. I can place her down. All right. It's fine. She's on that switch still. That's great. All right. This is fine. Hopefully, I don't need to come back for anytime soon. I don't know what these bubbles are. All right. So, this door is now open. So, let's go down this way. And we'll just leave her there until we need her. Ha! Ah! Nice. All right. Jump slashes do like three times more damage than everything else. What's that thing down there? They keep giving me Deku Nuts like I need them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now that thing is scary. That thing is very scary. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Ooh, Link, you gotta go. You gotta go. Okay, we raised the water level. The Stingray is flying now. Get me out of here, get me out of here. Woo, okay. We're up here. God, that thing is scary. Um, okay. Why would I want to raise the water level? It is a good question. Yep, that's gonna be bad. Oh, I need that shield. Alright. 
Give me my shield back. Thank you. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know how to get one of those back, to be 100% honest with you. Like, if I lose that, I don't know how to, I don't know where to find that. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and murder all of these things. Alright, where's my more mana rays? There you are. Alright. I can still hear something. Apparently that was the answer. Mass genocide. Okay, it's up there. So we just do this. The water level rises. But like, what could possibly be in this chest that would benefit me right now? I need a method of getting around the electric dudes. Hell yeah! Maybe that'll work. Um, let's see here. Let's try to hit these uvulas. Nope, that's not the answer. Oh, the water's gone. Oh, okay. Well, that's easy peasy. Hopefully this is the exit, not the entrance. It was, in fact... Wait, what the hell? Alright. Stop it! Stop using those things. Alright. Okay, now I have a boomerang. But the question is, like, what do I use a boomerang with? Okay. Hopefully this allows me to, like, hurt these things. Oh, wait. It does. It makes them blocks. Holy crap, using this boomerang is absolutely painful. Okay, cool. But now we can go around. We can actually go places now. Nice. Now we can go this way. Grab this heart. There we go. And now I can just jump on this? Interesting. Alright. Clean. Whew. Making our way downtown. Alright, so we have something I need to bomb. Now normally... Oh, I gotta pick up boxes. Oh god. This is giving me anxiety. Okay, so those I still can't break. Oh my god. So I need something that can break those things. That Even if I bomb that, it doesn't actually solve a problem. This is disturbing. Alright, this is the only open door. And it's a mini boss fight. Or just a puzzle? I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna try using the boat, the boomerang, because it has unlimited. You know what, fine, we'll shoot the cows again. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I'm in there. I'm in there. It took my shield. I did not realize there was two of them. Well, what's it gonna take? It can't hurt me that much. Did it feed me to the other one? Oh, this is bad. I'm in like an endless feedback loop of weird squishy boys. This should be okay. Enough of this should work. I... I got it. No, I'm not trying to call you now. I'm not trying to call you, Nobby. I'm trying to throw a boomerang. Oh, God. This is just ridiculous. 
Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. Oh, give me a fairy. Actually, let me get... I can grab two of them. Got one fairy, and I can grab a second one. If they don't disappear. Come here. Alright. And then I don't want to equip them anymore. I want to have that over there, and I don't know, like that over there. Okay. Oh, and this one I can use just to heal myself. Wow, that worked out great. Whew. <laughs> what are these items? Why am I so excited about it? Okay. So now this is on fire. Oh, we can use this. All right. All right, because I think there was something I needed, like something that was blocked via, yeah, this. Cool, okay. And then I can, dang it, I lost the stick. What is that? Does the boomerang kill it? Boomerang, can you hit it? Just, I need clarification. Oh. Okay. What's your name, weird stick tongue thing? Okay. Alright, so I gotta like bait it down and just keep doing this. Now it works. Okay. What was that? What happened? I'm so confused. I don't like this. Um, okay, I think we got it. I'm just gonna leave now. Is it in there again when I come back? No, it's like I'm done with the room, but like, I don't know. It feels like there's more to be done. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know. All right, we'll just keep on going then. Assume it was nothing. All right, so I only have five bombs. Woo! Whoa! Okay, wait, wait. Did I not get my highlight? Okay, I did. Oh, thank God. I have no idea where he is, but my shield is big enough. It's non-directional. I'm just full turtle mode. All right. There we go. Okay. Um... I'm just gonna put that there. Oh! I need to bring the girl here? Okay. That's fine. You just need to bring the girl here. That's very not doable. Wait, no, there's boxes right here. I can put the box on there. Yeah, leave the princess down the hole. We don't need her. We have boxes. Boxes of the new small child. Okay. Perfect. Oh, another one of these guys. Okay, so we just do the exact same thing. Kind of bait it down. Just keep on doing this. Alright. And it makes sounds like I did good. But, um... Okay. All right, come here. There we go. All right, nicely done. Um, 
Are these gone by chance? Oh, they are. Oh, those are the things I was killing. Okay. Got it. All right, so we just keep on... Oh, these are blocking things near the girl. Okay. I got it. Apparently, this is like one long snake that extends throughout the entire Jabu Jabu. So by taking all of these out, it opens up new pathways that were blocked previously by those wiggly thin boys that were electrifying me. Okay, so this will be the last one, and then we can go... Oh, this is something completely different. What the hell is this? Okay, I mean, that does work, though. The bubble got me. Okay. Got it. All right, whatever. There's a timer. Oh, it's a Skulltola. No, it's not. It's just a random spider. Okay. This will lift me up, so let's go do this. Uh, there's also a rock right there, which I guess I should probably take care of. Missed it. Yeah, it's a Skulltola right there, but obviously I can't get to it. Well, actually, I guess I can. No, look how high it is. Wait, can the boomerang get it? I guess... Is it still there? Okay. Alright, get the boomerang. The boomerang can get it! Okay. Six, 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 six. So we need to, if we need to go back, we can go back to the, the Great Deku Tree's body. And there's like a few of them in there we can grab. Okay. Why would I want to be higher up? What does this get for me? I think we're good. I think this was just a room for the Skull Tulla, if I'm being honest. Okay, the, it's looking very red in here. So I'm going to go back to where I came from before, and I'm going to hope that some of those passes that were blocked previously by, like, this is Thick Boy. We had, like, two thin wigglies that were blocking some other pathways, specifically down here. So I'm hoping that now these are gone. Perfect. And we gotta go pick up, um, whoops. We gotta go pick up this girl, too. So we'll go grab her, and we'll get it done. I didn't leave you behind. You're fine. You're fine. All right, so now that I have you, we can go through, like, this door, I guess? And now we're trapped. I hope you're happy. Because I certainly am. God, this boomerang is so handy. Okay, so... Them being in the water is not... Okay. Stop locking on. Climb up. Okay. So... What do we got going on here? Oh, I can shoot him in the water, though. Okay. I think this is a Skull Tola room, if I'm being honest. But, we've already found the room, so let's just go for it anyway. Okay. Sounds good. Um, uh, now... <laughs> To get this button. What the hell was that? What hit me? What are there bats flying around? Wait, are those invisible bats? Oh Jesus. She floats in water? No, she sinks. What the hell does that mean? Is she dead? Did I kill her? I'm trapped in this room. I literally can't get out. Oh boy. This feels bad. 
Okay. Um, how would I go about hitting this switch? It opens the door. Okay, can I light anything on fire? Is there any fire in here? Oh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, that the room seems irrelevant. Okay. Nice. So we'll just go get the girl and we'll go up the other way. I look, it's not my fault. We're fine. Okay. So we're gonna go up that way. We go to the other door that doesn't have a skull toll in it. I have absolutely no idea how I'm supposed to get that. I mean, it was blocked by a cobweb. I don't have any fire things. Come on, I had to wait a little bit longer. I mean, yeah, and the button didn't do anything either. So there's no real benefit in like bringing her in there. It doesn't solve anything. No, what am I doing? I need to stay on that. <laughs> Just saw the button. I was like, I need to press this other button. It's like, no, you don't. We did that already. We're fine. All right. Third time is the charm. All right. Got all the way up and now we're good. All right. We can go this way. We're fine. It's a new route. We haven't been this way before. I'm sure it'll be good things. It's the thing she wanted. And the thing that I want. Go get it. <laughs> she got the spiritual stone. Now can I have it? It's your mom's. Oh, God. Oh, he ate her stone. Take me home? All right, sounds good. I'm sure there will be nothing that's stopping us from taking you home. Let me just go grab. It's always something, you know. An octopus? I guess we're gonna go. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go fight an octopus. Is he a boss? Oh, I guess he is big. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tight circles, tight circles, tight circles, tight circles. He's got to give up eventually. Yep. That would do it. Where's he going? Uh, what do I do? Hit him? I am so confused. Spitting doesn't help. Alright. Navi is gone and left me. I don't know. What about this thing? That seemed to work at least a little bit. Take it from behind? Oh, yeah. Okay, so all I gotta do is hit it with a boomerang. Dang it. All right, luckily I have two fairies on deck. All right, so now it continues to move. But I am not faster than it. So we kind of just sit here in an endless feedback loop. Okay. I I mean, I guess I am catching up to him like slowly but surely. This doesn't feel like I just got to make sure I kick this really tight angle and we do actually catch up with him. But oh good god. Like this cannot be the right answer. Come on. Come here, big boy. I'm gonna get you. Well, I'm losing speed. Tight angles, tight angles, tight angles. 
I don't get this. All right, we're making progress. What the hell is that? You turn around? Oh, he does. Okay. All right, so we just gotta hit him like twice with the boomerang. All right, so now he turns around. Right. Okay, still facing the right way. I want him to turn around. Dang, okay. Oh, God. Okay, Link. It's fine. Now he turns around. Come on. Come on. Time it right. Aim where he's gonna be, not where he is. Woo! Dang it. All right, well, I'll throw the boomerang. Now I need him to turn around, if feasible. God, how am I missing these? Also, the beeping, can it please stop? I'm aware of the health situation. All right, aim. How did I not hit him? Oh man, this guy is the worst. Alright, well this is going really splimmingly. Wait, it goes through the thing? Oh, well that makes this way easier. Alright. Alright, this is fine. There we go. I just rolled into him. God help me. What the hell was that? Alright, we're fine. Okay, now turn around. Okay. Turn around. I missed? I mean, I can't climb up that. Man, this guy... Just keep spinning, my boy. I guess we should stay locked on. Yeah. So the boomerang doesn't even quite as far as I need it to. Dang it. Come on. I know I need to track it from behind. God, I'm trying to stun lock him, but he's just like really fast for like no reason. I do not get this guy at all. Well. There he is. Link, can you just please hit him? I don't understand what's so hard about this. Like, it's not a very complex thing. Like, my boomerang just doesn't seem to want to work. And it's just so freaking hard for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh my god. Let's get going. Love the cows. All right. Uh, Aiden got bombs on here. Nope, got no more bombs. All right, I guess we'll be okay. Okay, well. You know what? Let's just get out of here. I don't know what you are, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Dang it. All right, so that's okay. I got a little carried away with shooting the cow. I mean, we all do. All right. Anyways. Good. So now all we gotta do is boomerang these things. There's also... Oh, I gotta carry boxes, too. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay. So let's... Hit... That one. And that one. Grab a box. And get jumping. And then get button pressing. Alright, good. Perfect. And we're through. Where the hell am I? I hear something. Where, though? Okay, well. Did I fall? Oh, this is the route we haven't been able to go yet. Okay, this fell down. Nice. Alright, keep going. We should be pretty close to the end, I think. I have no idea. Uh, let's shoot cows. For chests. I mean, last time we got bomb shoots out of it, so I mean. Alright, where'd that chest go? Oh, it's these things again? Alright, I am very concerned with my ability to handle that. Alright. Good. That's pretty nice overall, especially like. Oh, a fairy. Alright, well, that's cool. So, what's my goal? I guess I'm gonna climb up this thing. Seems reasonable enough. There's a gold skull taller right there. But it's like. Yeah, it's blocked. Interesting. There we go. Alright, we gotta ricochet it. That's actually really clever. Alright, a little bit more angle. A little bit more height. Come on, Link. Come on. We hit this thing once. There it is. Now we just gotta hit it one more time to get the reward. Come on. There we go. Dang. They do not make these gold skull tolas very easy. Alright, the door is locked. That I wanna go out. Does this go up any higher? No, this is it. Alright, so let's just do our basic thing and murder these two things and see if that solves what my issue is. Hey, 
Come on, dude. These things are the worst. Maybe I can stun them. Does that work too? Nope. God! I mean, at least I got a Deku shield for the time being, but like... Heaven... I, I can't... Alright. Alright. Taking care of business. I need that shield back, please. Thank you. <laughs> I guess there's a mirror shield in this game, too. It's crazy how many times the... Like, Nintendo's been reusing the same basic idea. It's like, hey, you get shield, shield. Like, it's, it's all the same. All right. Um, so we hit both cows already. Wait, why are they... Interesting. That one was moving. Okay. Boss fight. Boss fight. Oh no, it's made electricity. That's my main weakness, is electricity. There's so many jellyfish. Boomerang will solve all our problems. That's all I know. Yeah, Boomerang will solve all of it. The Baronade? The sea and them and the me. Alright. Oh good god, what was that? Interesting. Okay. Alright. Hit it. Come on, Link. Just hit it a few times. Apparently that's not it. But... Alright. I got it. Dang, this thing spins, don't it? Alright. What am I hitting? I keep hitting the wrong button. Alright, I think this is kind of survive in advanced type time. Okay. I am not exactly sure what the goal is. <laughs> Let's see what this drops. If it's hearts, that means it's, it's a boomerang thing. Okay, let's take out more of the jellyfish. Oh, okay, I only got one because I had weird targeting problems. Alright, I think we got it. Just keep back flipping. and backflips, I can rule the world. And that should probably do it! Hell yeah. We saved Jabba Jubu. grab this lovely heart container and we'll be good to go and I guess she's already going back 
Oh, she's flushed. She's impressed with my abilities. I'm late? Alright, get out of here, princess. And I'll see you when you get a little older. Maybe we both age, I don't know, like six years or so. I don't know how old I am. <laughs> Our faces are really close together. <laughs> Be crazy if that was a cliff. I don't like this. You looked cooler than I thought you would, anyways. Just a little. You save me, I'll reward you. I want the spiritual stone. I guess I'll marry you then. Thank you. I've been engaged to two different small children so far, which is not great. I really wish I didn't say that, but I mean, like. I mean, Malin's dad asked me to, like, get married to her, and then, like, she basically just gave me a wedding ring. So, I mean, like, Link gets around for a 12-year-old. But, hey, we got all three spiritual stones, so we can save Hyrule. Hell, yeah. Let's go talk to Zelda. Don't tell my father. All right, I won't. I mean, you fed it to a big fish, so I think we're okay. <laughs> like, it wasn't that big a deal. Let's see here. Let's skedaddle. So I guess the fastest way to get to Zelda... We go to Lake Hylia. Then Hyrule? I don't know. Should I tell her dad? Alright. Let's get out of here. Fast way down is big, big swan dive off the platform. Alright, I still think Lake Hylia is going to save me some time here. So I'm going to take this route. Oh, okay, or not. Um. Oh, okay, come on, Link. Just make it down there. There we go, okay. Now that we're here, we can basically just turn around and take this route and be back to Hyrule Field. And then we can just run over to the castle and see what's going on with Princess Zelda. I'm sure everything is fine. I'm sure nothing has happened and that we should be good to go. We got all of the stones, so we're... I can't remember what they're used for, but we have them. And now Ganon will never be able to make his wish upon the Triforce. And we'll save the world. weird I don't is there a way to like lower the gate I feel like there should be but there's just not I love the backflip mechanic that's like my favorite thing in this whole game is that you can just whenever you want jump like you don't need to be on a ledge or anything um Hyrule Castle probably this way I don't know. I feel like it should be looming in the distance at all points. It's a castle. But I think it's this way. Unless it's not. No, it's gotta be this way. Now, it is almost nighttime, so I might have to wait um, for some skeletons to appear and disappear. Actually, no! I got the Sun Song. Yep, so let me just remember what the Sun Song is. We can just make it daytime, you know? Right down up. Let's make it daytime, baby. It's a really handy song to have. Well, now it's nighttime. Down. Down, right. What is it? Right down up. There it is. Okay. Now it's daytime. I thought when the skellies appeared... I guess it goes to whatever the, the next sequential thing is. Okay, there's there's the castle. Because I was like... I guess it was like 9pm. And they bumped us up to midnight. So I needed to go from midnight to, to I guess, 8am. Alright. So let's go show these beautiful little rocks to another woman in Link's life. Lot, lot of people. And the gate's not open yet. But hopefully it should come on down here. 
because I need to get inside that town. I have very important business with the princess. It's daytime. Uh, why is the gate not open? <laughs> oh, because it's time for a cutscene. Oh, this is the opening cutscene where Ganon steals the princess. Yeah. And of course it rains, because it has to, for cinematic effect. Wait, no, that's Impa. What the hell did she throw at me? Jump after it, Link. Well, that's Ganon. He looks good. He looks good. I lost her. Little kid. You must have seen the white horse gal past here. So you didn't protect them from me? You got guts. Alright, I do have guts. I got charisma. Okay, now that's a bold move. I wouldn't whip the sword out. <laughs> like, I'm cool with not telling him. But, like, I don't think we're ready to fight him yet. Do we do it? Did we win? I have no idea who you are. You're gonna rule the world? Like, I mean, you just hit a little child. So, I mean, you're well on your way to world domination. You can wreck a 12-year-old. I'm sure you can take on the world. Like, he doesn't know who I am yet. Like, I don't know if there's like, a precedent set. I think it's like the first, like, no, it's not. He should know all about me. Like, the young boy in the green hood. Like, this has happened so many times. Oh, the Ocarina of Time. Oh, we're upgrading. Now we're talking. I don't know why everyone in this world seems to have an ocarina. Like, why is that the default instrument? Hi, Zelda. When you hold in your hand is ocarina of time. Oh, she's older now. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could have in this melody. Opens the door of time. Okay. Da, 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 da. The hell is this thing? It's so rough. Hopefully you don't have to do that too many times. Hopefully it's just once for that door of time. Cause like it is not, it's a, it's not very ergonomic, but I guess it's, we're talking about a Nintendo 64 controller. Nothing about that thing was ergonomic. I think kids broke their hands just by holding that thing. So I shouldn't complain. Now play the temple time and protect the Triforce. All right. Navi! Alright. So that is where we're going to end it for today. That seems like a very reasonable stopping point. Um, so we got all of the spiritual orbs or whatever. And we now saw Princess Zelda get taken. So now we're going to turn... Next time we're going to become an adult. So we're going to go to the Temple of Time. We're going to do the puzzle there. Then I think we have to revisit all three of the places i think we have to go to not mount doom what is it what is it death mountain we got to do the water temple and we got to do saria's forest temple and get the three triforce pieces i don't know i think that's the general plot for the next section but yeah we'll become an adult next time and we'll do more fun stuff but i'm gonna call it there for the day oh 
Thanks for hanging out. We'll either play a busy Saturday. So hopefully we'll be playing this tomorrow, if I had to guess. But I'm not sure. All right. See you next time. Bye.